Shalom Saints, Shalom and Kingdom greetings to all of you already here on this platform today. I greet you all in the mighty name of Jesus. I hope that you are ready for yet another day of divine revelation, prayer and consecration unto the Lord. Shalom Sister Blessings, Sister Pat Nails, it's Sister It's Q Shalom. Shalom, Shalom Sister Aliyah, Shalom Sister Naomi, Shalom Saints, Shalom Sister Brandon, thank you for the great gifts. Shalom, Shalom Sister Alice, Shalom Sister Sadie, Brother Garrett Morgan, Shalom. Shalom, Shalom Brother Dwayne, thank you for the gifts. Sister Alice, thank you very much for the gifts. Brother Grant, Shalom, Valley Store, Shalom. Sister Pat, thank you so much for the gifts. Shalom, Sister Beth. How are you today? Shalom, beloved sister. Sister Emily, shalom. And thank you for the wonderful gifts. I am truly grateful to all of you. Sister Merta, shalom. Shalom, it's Q. Shalom, shalom, shalom. Sister Carlene Gadsen, shalom, Sister Precious. Shalom, um, Irma Antonio, shalom. Shalom, Sister Sarvi O Sarvi, Shalom, Shalom, Sister Shekila, how are you? Sister Anna Cruz, Shalom, Shalom, Sister Royalty, Brother Garrett, Shalom, and thank you for sharing the life. Sister Antoinette, thank you very much for the lovely gift. God bless you and increase you, Shalom, Sister Blessings, thank you for the gifts. Sister It's Q, Shalom, all of you saints, as you join in. Shalom and God bless you. Shalom, Tay. Shalom, saints. Shalom as you get in. Shalom. Shalom, Sister Beth, for sharing the life and all of those of you sharing the lives. Givens, Gervasius. Shalom. Shalom. Shalom, saints, as you join in. Ali, Shalom. Shelly, Shalom. Shalom. Shalom, saints. Shalom. Shalom. Royalty, Shalom. Shalom Tay, Shalom, Shalom Saints as you join in Santiago, Shalom, Sister Merta, Shalom, Bienzi, Shalom, 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 and God bless you, Shalom, God bless you, God bless you, God bless you all saints, lovely, Shalom, Brother David, Shalom, Shalom Saints, Nadi, Shalom, Shalom, Krista Nesbitt. Shalom, sister. Shalom. Glory be to God. As you join in, saints, the title for this live stream is How to Break Stubborn Curses. Yes, some of you, you were born again. You have been a Christian for a long time. But there are certain areas in your life that you can still that you feel that you are still struggling with a certain demonic pattern. It is going to be broken today, Sister Lori. Shalom to you, beloved sister. And I hope you are okay. I'm happy to see you. So, saints, if this is your story, you are in Christ Jesus. You have confessed Jesus as your Lord and Savior. But there are still areas in your life that there is something that you are suspecting that you are not yet operating in freedom. That there is a curse that is speaking over something in your life. This is the right life stream for you. You need this ministration. You need the delivering service that is going to take place today. And you need the knowledge of certain scriptures that are going to give you wisdom. And revelation of how to pray to break these stubborn curses. And I'm going to stand in agreement with you to break these curses in the mighty name of Jesus. Brother Jerry, good morning. Sister Julie, good morning. Shalom, saints, as you join in. I appreciate, we appreciate each one of you here. Sister Portia, shalom. I'm happy to see you. I'm happy to see all of you, saints. I think we can start now, all right? Again, I want to apologize once again for being slightly late, about five minutes. But I will make up to you, saints, so that those five minutes, you, you have not lost the five minutes. So I am going to go 
over, okay? The normal time, five minutes to make up. Shalom from Durban. Oh, these Shalom, Shalom. One of my favorite cities, Durban, by the seaside. Beautiful. I love that. <laughs> so, saints, I want to, again, give you a, um, a brief description of what we are going to do here today. All right? So, saints, Although you are a Christian, you have confessed Christ, you are constantly repenting before the throne of God. Do you have any area in your life that is refusing to cooperate with the blessing? That is stubborn, that is saying no to you. And no matter how you pray, that situation is there looking at you. And it's a pattern. You have fasted about it, you have prayed. That situation is refusing to receive solution. You're going to find out today why is it that situation is refusing solution today. You're going to find out the scripture that is going to give you a level of authority over that situation. And you will be able to break free and go forward in Christ. All right, saints. This is why I make always an effort to come here and give you scripture. Because it's the truth that sets us all free, saints, by Jesus Christ. The truth is the word of God. And who is the truth? The truth is God himself. Oh, yes, he has come and he's manifested himself. He has died for us on the cross of Calvary. But he is all truth and all knowledge. And unless we dive into all truth and all knowledge, who is Christ, we will never be set free saints. We will always lack. We will always limp. And we will always have a, an area in our lives that is going to give us trouble. And that we're not going to be able to break through. But he ends today in the mighty name of Jesus. So saints, I'm asking you to get your Bibles ready. And I hope and pray that these ministrations that we, we had before, you have written the laws and commandments of God, the, the, the word of the Lord. So that when you are alone with God and you are praying to God, you will bring before his throne his word. Oh, yes, you will begin to confess over that situation that is refusing to cooperate with God, with his word concerning your life. That is why I've been asking you all saints to write it down. All right. Yesterday, we went through a couple of scriptures that are extremely important in the life of a Christian. And you need those scriptures and if possible to memorize so that you will come a time in your life that when you pray, you are so knowledgeable about the word of God. That you don't need, uh, you won't need to go back and read because you've memorized it in your, in your mind. So saints, let us pray once again, consecrating this live stream unto the Lord so that the Lord will have his way concerning our situation, saints. Uh, again, I need to clarify an issue. I do not have cash app. I had a lot of messages from people asking me, what is your cash app? I'm in the United Kingdom and therefore cash app has a lot of restrictions here in the uk there is a limit that i can receive i cannot be bothered with the stress anything that stresses me and takes away my peace i i get rid of it that's how i am <laughs> so if you want to sow it's only via paypal all right saints so okay let us pray consecrating this live stream onto the lord i also wanted to i have a reminder I want to ask you if you want me at the end of every live stream to say your names one by one and pray over you every time we end the live stream. If this will be beneficial for your prayer, for your for your life and your, your walk with Christ, please let me know. I do have a list with the names of the regulars on this live stream, the people who are always here. I've took down um your names the the ones that are faithful tithers and give us i have your name so do you want me to do this if yes just type yes and i will be more than happy to start from tomorrow saints all right okay so saints let us consecrate this live stream onto the lord but before we go let me just say welcome to sister gail that has just arrived god bless you sister gail i'm happy to see you today um, I want to also ask you, saints, to pray for one of our moderators. I'm going to pray as well. Uh, her name is Sister Tembelili. I know, I think you can remember her. She always very diligent with the stream. 
she's facing a lot of spiritual attacks and i assume that is because of her diligence on this platform we're gonna pray for her but i'm also on a avid campaign praying for all of the moderators okay it is important that we pray for them so saints without much ado further ado let us go into prayer father lord i thank you for this lovely afternoon that you have given us thank you for the gift of life almighty god thank you for being merciful unto us although we do things father lord that sometimes lord are sinful we have thoughts that are evil we say things that lord god do not match with what you want us to confess for our lives you have been so patient with us and merciful and so loving but father lord we are here to thank you for the gift of life which automatically Father Lord, allow us to have the chance to come before you and repent once again from all of our sins that we have committed against you and those made in your image. Forgive us, Almighty God, for our transgressions. Forgive us, Almighty God, for our iniquities. Forgive us, Almighty God, for all the things that we have said, that we have done, that we have confessed with our own mouths, that we have offended you and proceeded wickedly against you, Almighty God. We are asking you today, Lord God of Israel, to remember the blood of your son Jesus shed on the cross of Calvary for the remission of our sins and to forgive us completely from our transgressions and to forgive us completely from our iniquities. All the things that we have said that we have done, Lord God, be merciful unto us. Up to Father, Lord, 50 generations before us almighty god cleanse us father lord with the precious blood of your son jesus father lord we consecrate once again as we always do this live stream into your hands i'm asking you to take full control dominion authority sovereignty over the live stream over the prayer hour the prophetic hour the ministration hour i'm asking you to take full control of each one of us present here today father lord and i pray lord god that as we call upon your name and as we begin to learn new things father lord concerning your word lord god and your will for your life that you will begin to break curses and bondages that are father lord fighting us constantly and i've been stubborn and refusing to cooperate father lord with your will for our lives that once for all the yokes will be broken lord god i'm asking you father lord for this for salvation to happen once again on this platform that father lord you will call from the call for the four from the four corners of the world everyone that you want to listen to this mass message be saved be delivered and be born again lord god father lord i'm asking you today that you will touch sister tembelile that is going through spiritual attack her and her husband and her family lord god i uplift all the moderators father lord i'm i'm asking you lord god to deliver all of us that are in ministry on this platform from every satanic and demonic retaliation from the kingdom of darkness i cover the moderators with your precious blood lord jesus i cover the live stream i cover the ministration with your precious blood i'm asking you also father lord that in the mighty name of jesus you will begin to bind every demonic and satanic force that is seeking to cause any disruption confusion in in the live stream lord god even internet problems father lord connection problems sound problems lord god bind all these principalities and rulers of darkness with the everlasting chains of the holy ghost fire cast them all onto the bottomless pit of the abyss forever and ever never to have any any power control dominion authority over your children today lord god father lord i'm asking you today to have your way in our lives to have dominion to have full control to have full authority lord god and father lord i'm asking you today that you will speak to us lord god that you will even bring to remembrance things that happened in the past lord god that are sponsoring curses and then that we had completely forgotten and we need to address it in prayer we need to break and destroy i pray that the holy spirit lord god will be manifested father lord wherever each one of us is lord god this day that the holy spirit will have control dominion and authority over this ministry over our lives Lord God over our thoughts Lord God Father Lord I'm asking you today that you will dispatch from 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 heaven armies of angels to encamp around us to protect us and deliver us from all evil Father Lord I pray that the Holy Spirit will make our air gates ready to receive your word and our eyes ready Father Lord to see your goodness in the land of the living oh Lord God I'm asking you today for the manifestation of your power in this live stream Lord God that I will no longer sp speak 
but but you will speak through me as one of your many oracles in the land of the living we glorify your holy name lord god we honor you father lord and we give you glory i'm asking you father lord that you begin father lord to send the holy ghost fire to pursue overtake and judge every agent of darkness targeting this life stream and our lives for evil almighty god take control take authority almighty god father lord let your purpose today father lord be manifested in us we came here for a purpose and the purpose is to hear from you the purpose father lord is to be in fellowship with one another father lord i'm asking you that that purpose will not be frustrated that you will do in our lives what you want to do that you will speak concerning the issues in our lives that need father lord special visitation from you today in Jesus' mighty name, amen, amen, and amen. I hope, saints, that you all have your Bibles. Before we go to the Word of God for ministration, I want to make an announcement that Brother Jerry Stewart will be in charge of the um, counseling for gentlemen, all right? So the gentlemen that need counseling, you are a gentleman, you are a man of God, and you need counseling. Brother Jerry, that is one of the moderators here, will be doing that counseling for you all that need that counseling. Because, as I said, I don't feel comfortable to be doing counseling to men. That is not my 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 realm of, of how can I say, that is not my mantle that God has given to me. I am called for the women, for the sisters, all right? And I'm not comfortable in ministering over brothers. So Brother Jerry will be doing that. And um, if it's something that is a bit too much for him or he needs a little bit more insight, he will liaise with me and I will direct him accordingly. All right, saints. So please, just get your Bibles um book of galatians three thirteen. we have read this word since before but is it's worthy of another mention again because when we are doing with um dealing with curses we have to always bring before the throne of god before heavens and before hell this very word that will release you from any curse so it says, Christ redeemed us from the curse of the law by becoming a curse for us. For it is written, curse is everyone who is hung on a pole. This is a word that is going to give you um, a structure for your prayer if you are fighting against curses, any curse. All, all right. So, saints, I'm here to um, say something to you again. Um, there are very, there are um, different types of curses. There are curses that are pronounced by God because of our disobedience and idolatry. All right. So, if you come from a bloodline of people that were in idolatry in the past, or in the occult, or in any sort of rebellion violation of god's laws and commandments instantly such bloodline will be under a curse because that is what god has said you can go to the old testament deuteronomy 28 and you can read the book of deuteronomy deuteronomy and you will see there that there are curses that will fall immediately upon the heads of those who commit idolatry against god that is number one all right but then you have curses that are pronounced by people. Yes, you have people that are in the occult. You have witches. They are not God. They are agents of darkness, but they will curse you. Yes, let us understand what we are dealing with today. And these curses, they do have effect upon one's life, especially. No, if you are a person that you have no fellowship with Christ. And that curse that was pronounced against you was because you did something to somebody and you have not repented either because you've forgotten. It is something that happened in the past and you completely forgot 
you're going to ask the Holy Spirit to bring to your remembrance. Let me give you an example. Let's, I'm going to give an example in my own, you know, context, but maybe you can apply it to your context. Say, for instance, when we were children and we used to run around the neighborhood and we used to go to a certain housing um, that had certain um, garden with trees, many trees, maybe apple tree, whatever tree, mango tree, whatever I'm talking about in the tropical context. And you went into that um, house and you took the fruits from that tree and you, and you just left. Children do things like that, all right? And it's, it's, we think that, oh, we were just playing. But sometimes the owner of that home, the owner of that tree can pronounce a curse over the, the, the children who were taking things from that garden. It happens. It happens in my country. So the owner of the house is saying, oh, those who are taking my fruits from my garden or my vegetables or whatnot, it shall not be well with you. You will always struggle. That is a curse. And then you grew up, you are now older and you, and it, it's never well with you in whatever you do. Yes, Sister Marlena, it is very sad, but people do it because they are wicked. Sometimes. The curse can be pronounced by your parents. Suppose you are a very mischievous child, naughty. And you used to do things in a house that were naughty and your parents out of frustration or your grandparents, they curse you. You will always be a bum. You, you will never amount to anything. You will always be this. You will always be that. Ignorantly, they, they, without them knowing because they were frustrated, because they were upset with you, they pronounced a curse over your life. And now you have grown older. You, you, you see that there is a blockage in your life. There is something that is speaking against you. This is the live stream that you need to be in today. Don't go anywhere. Stick with me. I'm going somewhere. All right. Another thing. These are curses because you did something that annoyed somebody. But as you grow older. All right. Some of you, for instance, you, you were dating a married man. Oh, you were, a, you were a gentleman. You were dating a married woman. That spouse that was upset because you was having an affair with their spouse, they pronounce a curse against you that, look, you think you are all that and a bag of chips. You will always be in poverty. You will never have somebody to love you. Pronounce curses and some people go to the extent that because they are so frustrated with the frustration that you were causing them by going with their spouse, they have visited a witch or a wizard and a warlock. And they went there and cried to that wizard that you were giving them trouble in their marriage. That you were, you, you were going after their spouse, whatever it was that you were doing at the time. And they pronounced a curse so that you will leave that spouse. Know that these curses are valid as well because they enter into your life because you opened the door. You wronged somebody, you have not repented, and the curse is still speaking against you. So we're going to pray that God, in his infinite mercy, yes, he will bring to remembrance everything that you have done in the past, everything that has happened in the past, so that you confess your sin, you will attain forgiveness from God, and instantly, the curse will be broken in Jesus' name. All right? These are the types of curses that I have now listed, but there is another one. Do you know that you can be cursed because of a place that you are now living? Some of you, you have rented a place or you bought a house, and in that house, a person um, that was cursed died in that house, or a witch died in that house, and now before that witch died, she says, anyone who lives in this house will always be crying day and night. No money, poverty. Well, I don't know, but sometimes people do things like that. Before they die, they pronounce a curse over that home. All right. Oh, this home has brought me nothing by sorrow. So therefore, anyone who lives here will experience what I experience. People are wicked like that. You can also be cursed because of the city 
that you live in or your neighborhood or a certain land. I'm going to bring an example. Some of you live in lands where the indigenous people of that land because of the colonialism that they faced because of the genocide they were facing by occupiers of that land that not only killed that were killing them but they were disposing them of their land they pronounced a curse over the land anyone who occupies this land will never be will never have will never have peace will never prosper and a good example that i'm going to give is the Red Indians in certain cities in the United States of America. They pronounced curses over the land because of how the um, white Americans that invaded their country, invaded their lands, they completely abused them, raped them, killed them, and put them in reserve, stopped them from cultivating the land and whatnot, and they pronounced a curse. So therefore, that land, that place, whosoever lives in that place, no. without them knowing, they are under a curse that perhaps the, the spiritual leaders of that clan, of that tribe, pronounce over the land. Yes? Another way people can be cursed is that the land that you are occupying, blood was shed. So let's say, for example, that um, the indigenous people of that country were killed and that land has a lot of blood in it and by you living in that land if you don't pray certain prayers you will be under the same curse that is why it is important you have moved to another city that you make certain confessions that you plead the blood of jesus over the the, the ground that you stand life is spiritual sense and the reason why we have the scripture is to bring you a certain level of knowledge of what you are dealing with. You cannot break a curse that you don't understand. You cannot break something that you don't have understanding of what it is that is speaking against you. That is why it is important that we always go to the word of God. And I'm giving you practical, practical examples so that you, are, you will understand what is an evil spoken curse. Today, we are not dealing with generational curses. We have done that before. We are dealing with evil spoken curses. So curses that were spoken by a human being. Because remember, life and death is in the power of the tongue. Certain people, they, they, sometimes a curse can come because of you, you purchase an item. And that is a cursed item. Now you are operating under a certain curse that, that is in that item. Because that is a cursed item. I'm going to give you an example. Those who, for example, discovered, they went and dug the tombs of the pharaohs. Remember, there were certain curses spoken over those who would open those sarcophagus and go underneath to check the, the treasures of the pharaohs. There were certain curses that were spoken by the ancient egyptians that whomsoever enters this this pyramid whomsoever digs this 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 will happen to them i'm just giving an example sense and some of people they are art collectors they die in mysterious ways they die and they don't understand what it is but a curse was pronounced so i'm just giving you background sense so that you will understand what it is that i'm talking about all right another way of a curse entering a home or a person. It's, for example, you are listening to a certain artist that if you listen to the song backwards, they call it backmasking. They are releasing curses to the listeners, to the people who will listen to that album, to that music. So therefore, you will notice that when you, you, you before you, after listening to a certain artist, you are feeling sad, suicidal. You are feeling like you are not worthy of God's love and all these different things. Those curses as well that can enter your life because by means of you listening to the music. Some films, especially the horror movies. Yes, curses are spoken to those movies that whomsoever will watch this movie. Their first son, this will happen. Their daughter, this will happen. Their finances, this will happen. So it is a vast 
catalog of curses and how they can enter someone's life. Sometimes the curse can come because, for instance, there are people who are agents of darkness. They work, for instance, in a supermarket and they will be cursing the items that are in that supermarket. You go and buy it, you don't pray, or you are too tired to pray, and you eat that food, a curse begins to manifest in your life. That is why we have to pray over our food. Very important. A curse can also enter your life because of immorality. You have gone and had intercourse with somebody that was cursed by somebody. And the curse was everyone you met will be miserable like you. I don't know what it is. And you because um, intimacy is spiritual. I'm not allowed to say certain words, saints. But you can get me. Because intimacy is spiritual, saints. What will happen is that by you connecting spiritually with them, becoming one with them, you will be a partaker of their curse. Some of you, you met your boyfriend who is, is broke, has no money, but because you love him, you are trying to help him and you had intercourse with that boyfriend or girlfriend. Now you are as poor and broke as they are. And this is not normal. You have entered in agreement with a curse because of intimacy. The soul tie has allowed you to be a partaker of the curse. You became one with them, then you became one with the curse, whatever curse is in their life. So I hope I have made myself um, clear about what type of curses we're going to be breaking today. Another curse that can come, saints, is people who are in position of authority. When we were children, sometimes our teachers would say, you are so stupid. You are an idiot and all these different things. There were wicked teachers like that. And because they were in position of authority over us as children, they cursed us. And now we are walking in life like idiots. We are walking, you know, you are walking in life defeated. And you don't understand why this has happened. Sometimes even your boss can speak a curse. Oh, it doesn't matter where you go and find a job. You will always be lazy. You will always be this. They are pronouncing a curse. Whether they know it or not, doesn't matter. The enemy doesn't need people to have knowledge. All he needs is people to speak it and it will fulfill whatever. All right? So let us go to another word. Saints, this word, I want you to write it down. Very important that you write this down. I've given you the word that is, um, uh, I gave you again because that one I had given before when we prayed. I know you can remember. But this one today is new. Very efficient when somebody speaking curses over you or your children. All right? Sometimes they could, you don't know what your, your children's teachers are saying to them at school. So when you lay hands on your children, when you are praying for your children, it is important that you mention this word. So I'm giving you words the word of God to give you dominion, power, to break any curse, any evil spoken word against you or your loved ones. Let us go to the book of Nehemiah. Nehemiah 13, 2. And I want to say this. Make the word of God a daily confession. Do you know that you were supposed to do that? Use the word of God as confession. Lord, I confess Nehemiah 13, 2. Lord, I confess Psalm 91 over my life. This is how you um, will give power to the word of God to manifest in your life and do whatever it needs to do to deliver you. So our daily confession today for the prayer session that we're going to have later is the book of Nehemiah 13, 2. God bless you, Sister Rose, for pinning it up for us. Because they have met not the children of Israel with bread and with water, but hired Balaam against them, that he should curse them. How bade our God turn the curse into a blessing? Oh yes, glory be to God. You are familiar with the story of Balaam. Balaam was a prophet hired by the enemies of Israel to curse them. But because God loved Israel so much and had a purpose and a plan for Israel to possess the land, 
that he had promised them. He turned that curse into a blessing for the Israelites by doing what? Making Balaam bless the people of God and not curse them. Oh yes. So I'm here to say saints that if you confess the word of God and make it a daily confession, there is no curse that is not going to cooperate with the will of God for your life. The curse will be immediately broken in the mighty name of Jesus. It will be immediately broken in the mighty name of Jesus. So confession today, Nehemiah 13, 2, that every curse pronounced against me, against my children, by the order of God has to turn into a blessing. It is written of me, every curse pronounced against me by the order of any Balaam, any demonic prophet. Oh yes, because of the love that God has for me. It has to turn into a blessing. So you begin to say every curse spoken against me. It is now a blessing for me in the mighty name of Jesus. Begin to make the word of God a daily confession in your life. Because it's the only the word of God that is going to give you dominion to operate in authority to break curses. All right. Let's say you are having an argument with somebody and somebody says something against you or you were talking to somebody and somebody pronounces a curse. You say you are just like you will be just like another Balaam. Whatever you are saying or speaking against me, it shall turn into a blessing because that is what is said of me in the book of Nehemiah chapter 13 verse 2. Because that is what God has spoken of me. It has to turn into a blessing. So no matter what, how you try to curse me. No matter how you try to say evil things against me. Because that is what is said of me. That any curse pronounced against me will reverse into a blessing. Whatever you are saying, it's a blessing to me in Jesus name. It will be of no effect. Another thing I want to teach you saints. Whenever you notice that somebody is constantly speaking negatively about you or your situation, rebuke them with the word of God. It doesn't, it doesn't matter if it's your mom or your dad or your children or siblings or your boss. It doesn't matter. Make it a priority to always rebuke somebody who is cursing you right in their face. You have authority. It is your destiny at stake. It's, it, listen. You don't mess with your destiny. You don't mess. You don't want to be living under any curse because somebody decided that they need to speak something. It, it doesn't matter. You are to rebuke them immediately and you are to say scripture. Confess scripture at that moment and rebuke them with the word of God. Begin to say, the Bible says about me that no one can curse what God has blessed. I am blessed by God. Therefore, that curse, I rebuke it. I break it in the mighty name of Jesus. He is of no effect in my life. Begin to have that habit. Because some people will say to you, Oh, I guess you are not made for this. I guess you are not made for that job. That is a curse right there. And some people are using their proximity with you. Their affinity with you to curse you. And because you love them, because you care about them, you will allow them to speak things over your life. Yes. Some people's saints are so negative that all they do is spew curses from day, from, from morning to night. They are a mouthpiece for Satan. So if they are saying something contrary to what the word of God says about you, you were to immediately rebuke them in Jesus name. Rebuke them, tell them straight. If they have the, the, the guts to be cursing you, you have the authority to rebuke them in Jesus name. Yes. Some mothers, they're upset with you because you done something or you, you didn't do something. You will see one day when you have your family, how you're going to suffer. Say, mom, I love you. I care about you. You are my mother, but I rebuke you in the mighty name of Jesus. The word of God says about me that I'm the head and not the tail. I'm above and not beneath. That says the Lord concerning my destiny, Deuteronomy 28. And the, the, the word of the Lord says in the book of Nehemiah 13, 2, that every curse pronounced against me by the order of God in my life and the order he gave to Balaam, the curse has to turn into a blessing. So, mom, I love you no matter what. Yes, I am blessed and not cursed in Jesus' name. 
rebuke it there and there and you're telling the curse where to go. But some of you, you begin to feel afraid. You don't say nothing and you don't understand that evil spoken words that will come into your life. They will germinate. They will grow into something and then begin to produce f evil fruit against you. Oh, yes. So you have to be a person that you have. You need courage. If somebody sends something to you that is not the word of God. Tell them straight. I'm not your candidate. Yes, tell them. That that you are saying about me, it will happen to you. And the person, what do you mean? I says, if it's so good what you are saying, what is it that you don't want it to land on your own head? You want it to land in my head. Oh, yes. Begin to speak. You are a prophet of your own life. You are a prophet in your own realm. of. You can prophesy to dry bones. You can prophesy in your situation. You can tell people what, where to go with their curses. Sometimes it's your friends. You are confiding in them. You are telling them something that is not, you know, in alignment with, with thinking that they will help you in prayer. And they just say to you, oh, I think you are just made to bear this cross. You are not made to be happy. That's why you are always complaining. Tell them where to go. And also, I want to say something. If you are entertaining somebody, whether a friend, boyfriend, I don't care, girlfriend, that is very negative and that is constantly speaking against you and saying curses and what and what will happen to you, it is time for you to reevaluate that friendship and cut ties with them. You are in the presence of a Balaam. And, what, and, and, and if you continue to work with people that are constantly releasing curses, not only against you, but against other people, it is a matter of time that you yourself will become a curse. Cut ties with them. The Bible says, how can two walk together unless they agree? I understand that some of these people, our mothers or fathers, we, we, we cannot dump them. We cannot get rid of them. But we can min you can minimize the amount of information you give to them. They are asking you, how is your financial life? How is your job? You say it's blessed and highly favored as usual. Tell them like that. Some of you, you are attracting curses because the way you relate to people is by means of pain. You are calling them to tell them all about your life and, and, and what is not going well. And they are taking that information to curse you. They are taking that information to speak against you. And you don't understand that you are the recipient of many curses because of the people who you have decided to associate with. Another thing is this. You have moved to another job. You have been promoted. Always be a person that dedicates everything to God. Lord, this is my new job now. I dedicate it to you. Take control from henceforth, Lord. This is not my job. This is your job that you have given me. Arise and fight all my battles and give me the victory always. Be in charge, Lord. I am placing you in a position of authority over my, my job in this company. Because you have consecrated the job to God, no man can curse it. You bought a house, call your pastor, call your man of God, your woman of God to come and dedicate that house to God. So that whatever curses were in that home, whatever evil agreements were in that home, by the mention of the name of Jesus and by confession of the name of Jesus, that curse will be broken. And as you move in into that home, it will be cleansed by the blood of Jesus. Some people that leave a home because they were repossessed, because they are angry about themselves and life, they will say, I'm leaving this house. But no one that will live here will experience peace. They will be so tormented, they will sell it and leave because they are angry. They have lost a home. And you step into that house and you begin to buy furniture. You begin to do this and do that. And you for forget the most important to consecrate it to God, to dedicate it to God. Be very careful of people that always have something to say about your children. Oh yes, it looks like your daughter is always going to be on the chubby side of life. It looks like that your daughter is always going to struggle with weight. Rebuke them straight. 
rebuke them straight away and teach your children to do so. The teacher is telling them you are stupid. Tell your child to tell them back to sender by fire in Jesus' name. That curse will not land on my head. As Africans here, we, we, we are very violent when somebody is telling us, giving us a curse. I'm African. And if somebody comes to tell me, oh, your child this, your child that, I says back to sender. It is your generation. It is not this one. We are under the blood of Jesus. But many people in the Western world, they just sit down and be offended. They take offense. Take offense is not going to reverse the curse. Take offense is not going to destroy anything, any curse against you. Somebody saying to you, oh, it looks like you're going through tough times. It looks like you're made to suffer. And you're sitting down and you're crying because somebody said something. You're taking offense. Tell them to, listen, pack your load and all your curses to your own head. I re return to I return to sender. It is not my portion. I reject it in Jesus' name. I reject it. Return to sender. Oh, yes. Even if people think that you are crazy, who wants to be under a curse? No one wants to. So, saints, if you have done things in the past, right? You took somebody's boyfriend, your best friend's boyfriend. You took your best friend's girlfriend. You stole some money and that person cursed you. You have to repent because that curse came to your life because you did something. All right? I'm talking about those curses that you did something. You went to your neighbor's home and you jumped the fence and you took his mangoes from his tree. Now you are cursed. Now money does not stay in your account because the owner of the tree got fed up of you coming and stealing his fruits. And he pronounced a curse over you. Repent. Ask Jesus, remind me of all the naughty things I did as a child that now I'm cursed. I'm under a curse because of those things I did in the past. Ask God. Because people can curse you, saints, for a reason. If you are messing with somebody's husband and that lady goes and consults a witch, let me tell you something. The curse that she speaks over your life will, will take effect. Why? Because you are in sin. Repent. You went and you done something against somebody. You rose false testimony for somebody to lose their job, for somebody to lose an opportunity. And because they were sad and crying, they went to a certain place, right? And they pronounced a curse over you. Now the curse is taking full effect over your life. You have to repent because if you don't confess your sin to God, that is one of the reasons why the, the curse will not be lifted off you. Yes, some of you, you used to steal from your parents when you were children. You were giving your parents a lot of hard work. And it's not because your parents don't love you or they don't mean well for you. But you, you took it to the extreme. You are giving them trouble. You are giving them a lot of sorrow and pain. And they said some things. And because look. Whatever a mother or a father speaks over their child, it has a lot of weight because they have what? They have authority by God to curse or bless you. Oh, yes. Repent. If you repent from your sins, then you can break the curse. But if you don't repent and you don't see what it is that you did wrong, you, you, you are not seeing the gravity of what you did. How are you going to be able to have authority by Christ Jesus to break the curse? So there are many factors that contribute for a person to be under a curse. Either somebody curse you because they don't like you. There are cases like that. Somebody might look at you and they don't like you and they begin to speak curses against you because they're jealous because they don't like you that is a curse that is without a cause but still you need to break it and you need to return it to sender but there are curses in which you did something and you know well and good that you did and because of that that person cursed you oh yes some people that like to, for example, another curse that can come into a man's life. It's, 
if you speak ill of a man of God or a woman of God, you say that the dress is ugly or you say that they are ugly or anything. You spoke ill of the man of God. You spoke ill of the woman of God. That attracts a curse as well. Why? Let's go to the Bible. Abraham, I will bless thee that bless i will bless those who bless you but i will curse those who curse you there you go so somebody that you are saying you've said things against the man of god remember we are not perfect just because somebody is it's a woman of god or a man of god does that 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 does not mean that you are perfect and that does not mean that god still will not judge the person that is saying things about you slandering as well can bring a curse i'm gonna bring you back to the bible do you remember when miriam and um the rest of um moses brothers were criticizing him from marrying a kushite woman what happened? They were afflicted with leprosy because they spoke ill of the servant of the Most High God. And the Lord rebuked them and placed a curse of leprosy in them. It's only Moses that had to intercede on their behalf for the curse to be lifted. Yes. And God says, I speak will speak directly to my servant what he is or he is not to do it is not your place and they justified because in the law of moses it says do not marry any strange woman and the kushite was not an israelite woman some of you think that you can say things about the man of god you can say things about the woman of god and now your finances are in disarray your marriage is on the rocks you can't get a job. You can't do this. You can't do that. Repent. Repent. Because they are a price that they are paying for being in ministry that you are not paying. I'm going to give you an example. Some of you, you have your jobs. You have your careers. You have your life. They don't have a life. Their life is looking after the sheep. They have to depend on people and donations to eat, to pay their bills and whatnot. They are, they are carrying a burden of ministry upon their shoulders. And here you are criticizing them as if you in that position, you will do better than them. And you don't understand why you cannot go forward. You don't understand why are you bound and cursed. Another way that you can be cursed is that by you not observing God's commandments. Yes, for instance, the Bible says, honor your father and mother so your days might be long on earth and it will be well with you in the land of the living. But you don't look after your parents. Oh yes, you don't. You don't call them, you don't even call them to find out if they are okay, if they have eaten, if the health is all right, you don't even have that care to even call. I'm not even talking about financially looking after your parents, which it is your obligation as a child of your parents. I'm talking about calling and finding, finding out, inquiring. Mom, how are you? Dad, how are you today? How is your health? Is there any help you need from me? Can I come on the weekend? You don't, some of you, you live 30 to 40 minutes from your parents, you don't visit. But when you were raising your children, they are now adults. You were always at your mother's place and my father's place asking them to babysit your kids. Now you have no use for them. You don't even call to ask how they are. That will make you be under a curse. You will be cursed. It's in the Bible. So I'm t giving you the examples of how a man can enter into a curse that will, that curse will be in full effect. Another curse, if you are a mother or a father and you don't look after your children and your family, your responsibilities, 
The Bible says that those who don't look after their families are worse than the infidel. You will, you will never know peace and prosperity because you're in violation of God's order. Why should God bless you when you've abandoned your children? Why should God bless you you don't look after your wife? Why should God bless you you don't look after your husband? Why should God do anything for you? Bless you for you to do what? To go to clubs, gamble, and go about your business and not look after your responsibilities? Some of you men that have abandoned your children with your baby mama. She's there struggling day and night to raise those children by herself without any assistance. And you think that you will be well with you. When that woman goes to bed, even if she doesn't curse you, the fact that she's crying your name and saying, look how so-and-so abandoned me with these children. Look how I'm going through struggles in life with these children by myself. And all I see on Facebook is so-and-so in clubs, in restaurants, with girls everywhere enjoying life. And I'm here suffering. God will collect those tears and then curses will be mounting, piling every night that that lady cries on your head. So understand what brings a curse. All right. So I pray that you upon this ministration. The Holy Spirit is bringing into remembrance. The things that you have done wrong. In your life. So that you can. I urge you even to write it down. When I was seven. When I was eight. When I was ten. I did this. I did write it down. Begin to write it down. And repent. Say, Lord, I did these things. I was in sin, Father, and 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 they were right in cursing me. I stole things from them. I did bad things, and out of frustration, they cursed me. But Lord, today I know better. I am coming before your holy throne of mercy, asking you to forgive me. Remember that I'm confessing Jesus today, and I'm not I'm hiding my sins from you. I'm confessing everything that I have done. And as I am confessing, Lord Jesus, set me free. Break the curse, Lord God. That is, that is in full operation, not only in my life, but in the lives of my children. So these are the things that you've got to understand. That life is spiritual. And the enemy capitalizes on our ignorance. And also some of you, you're prideful. Oh, I took her husband because she was too arrogant. I took her go his girlfriend because he was bragging. And you are justifying with pride the evil that you've done. Repent. Because you did something wrong. The Holy Spirit constantly brings it, brings it to your remembrance what you did. But you can't repent. Oh, I stole from my dad because he wouldn't give me and my mother anything. That doesn't mean that you did not commit sin. And that does not mean that the curse has not entered. So stop to justify the things that you did. Saying that, oh, you know, I, 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 I was justified what I did. Listen, if you don't repent and you are justifying what you did, you can never be set free. The curse will always have a hold over your life. We all have done things in the past that we are not pri pr we are not proud of saying it. I'm not telling you that you need to go and confess it to a man. Confess it to God who has power to forgive you in Jesus name. But some curses some of you is specifically that you have done things things against your parents. You stole from your parents. You gave your parents a hard time when you were teenagers. You did things that are hurtful, were hurtful to your parents. And you never cared to go to them and apologize and say, Dad, Mom, I was a really reckless teenager. I know I gave you a lot of sleepless nights. I know I was disobedient disobedient to you i know i've done a lot of things apologize to your parents sincerely go to your parents apologize say i'm sorry lord but i'm going to my parents today to apologize for what i did i'm going there to confess to them that i'm sorry 
And then as you do this and you apologize and ask your parents to forgive you, ask them also to bless you. Oh, yes. Some of you, you need to be humble enough to go and ask them to forgive you and to speak a blessing. Do you know what the blessing of a mother is very powerful? That your mother and or your dad, if they are still alive, will place their hands over you and begin to bless you. And say, my son, my daughter, everywhere you go, it shall forever be well with you. You will not suffer. You will not go through struggle. You will not be in the land of the living like a vagabond. You shall be like the, the palm tree planted by the river bank. Tell your parents to bless you. Your grandparents are still alive. Ask them to bless you. You don't have any parents. Go to your elders in church. Do you know that that is the reason why we call them elders? For the orphans that don't have any parents to go to them. For the widows that don't have any husband to go to them and be blessed. Sometimes we don't understand why are elders in church. I'm not talking about demonic elders. I'm talking about holy el elders. Go to those elders in your church. Say to them. My, my mother has passed, my father has passed, but I'm here respecting the office of the elder that is on your shoulder that God has given you and asking you to bless me. And they will. And now you will see that you will be able to go forward, find a job, do things for your life. That is, let us respect divine order. Do you know if you disrespect authority, that brings a curse? You disrespect the police when you see them. You disrespect people and your boss. You disrespect your parents. You have no regard for authority. That brings in a curse. Because God says that we must respect order and authority. It's in the Bible and pray for them. That the Holy Spirit will use them to do good things so that the nation will live in peace. But you are the first one to go to the police, to, to, to your Facebook, F the police, F the president, and do all these wicked things. And you think that you will prosper. In what country will you prosper? In what earth when you're violating God's commandments? If your president is doing this and doing that, that is between him and God. God is going to judge him. But you don't be the one being in violation. Instead of you praying, Lord, give us leaders that are not corrupted. Give us leaders that will be godly. No, you are cursing, cursing, cursing. And you don't understand that you are cursing yourself as well. All right? So, saints, there is a lot that we need to repent for. All right? Little things that we do every day and we think that, oh, there's nothing wrong with it but are attracting a curse into your life, are making a curse. Listen, the devil, you know what he does? He wants you to be ignorant. Anything that you don't have knowledge of, anything that you don't have discernment, all right? Anything, the devil will use that to continue to further suffering, to oppress you to, because you don't have knowledge. You think that it's okay with what you're doing. So what he does, he continues to afflict you more. You have no knowledge, so he can bring more and more affliction every day. We're going to pray, saints, but I'm going to have to say something. Those people that are on this platform, on, on, on this platform, and you always have something to say. Why don't you do this? Why don't you do that? Go to your own TikTok and make your live stream. Let God use you as a vessel. You don't have to be here criticizing all that I do. I'm doing what I'm doing. God is asking for God to help me to do it well. But if you are not in agreement with the ministration, you have your own TikTok page. Go to your TikTok and begin to preach the gospel. Don't wait for me to do it. You do it yourself. Stop spamming my message. I'm ministering here and you are sending me message. I don't need your input if it's not godly. It needs to criticize. You are not in agreement. Do better. If you don't like what I'm doing, go to your own page and do better, saints. That's all. Stop spamming me and f sending me messages. What do you think of this? What do you think of that? You do your own page. Go there and preach the gospel. Go on YouTube and do it. 
and do it better than me. And I will pray for you that you will prosper. Because what I, I am concerned is that the gospel is preached. Oh yes, if there is more of us, better. If you are better than me, hallelujah, continue. May the good Lord bless you and advance you and let you go forward. At least the gospel is advancing because I'm not here by pride. I know some of you are better than me. Some of you can read the scriptures better than me. Some of you, you are more eloquent. You are, you know more. I'm not claiming to be better than anybody. Yes, I'm not claiming to be better than anybody. I'm doing what I'm commissioned to do. And I learn as I go along with the Holy Spirit teaches me and sisters and brothers as well help me. But if you can do better, saint, go ahead by all means. You have my blessing and I will pray for you to prosper. No hate. Let us pray, saints. Father Lord, we thank you for your presence today. Father Lord, I thank you for giving us knowledge of what kind of curses, Father Lord, are there that the enemy is bringing and afflicting people, Father Lord, without their knowledge because they are in ignorance, Lord. Lord, thank you for your word that gives us, Father Lord, knowledge, that gives us, Father Lord, an upper hand against the enemy, Lord God. We thank you for your faithfulness. We thank you for your love that surpasses all of understanding. We thank you for your Holy Spirit that gives us freedom. In you, we are free, Lord God, because, Father Lord, it is your word that sets us free. Father Lord, today I'm asking you that whatever curses are afflicting your children, whether because of disobedience in the past, unconfessed sins, or Lord, because of sheer ignorance, they didn't know better. Father Lord, I'm asking you that today you will break those stubborn curses upon their lives. These curses that, Father Lord, afflicting their health, afflicting their finances, afflicting them in ministry, afflicting them in their marriages, afflicting even their children that are innocent, Lord God. Father Lord, begin to break every curse in the mighty name of Jesus as they confess their sins to you, as they confess what it is that they did wrong in the past. Father Lord, let every curse be broken in the mighty name of Jesus. Let their lives, their destinies, come into alignment with Deuteronomy 28, with the blessings of Abraham and Deuteronomy 28. Let your peace that surpasses all understanding fall upon them today, Lord God. And I'm asking you that the Holy Spirit will begin to show them what they have done in the past, Lord God, that has allowed this curse to enter their lives and begin to ruin their destinies. So that Father Lord, at the mention of the sin and by means of repentance, the curse will be immediately broken and destroyed. Father Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus, we refuse to drink from the fountain of sadness. In the name of Jesus, we assume control over all curses placed on our lives. We request, Father Lord, we request that you will remove any curse, Father Lord, placed against us. Father Lord, against our, our will, Lord God, as a result of our disobedience. Father Lord, curses that were pronounced by our parents because of disobedience, by grandparents, teachers, oh, those in authority. Father Lord, I'm asking you, remove all those curses in the mighty name of Jesus. Remove them in the mighty name of Jesus so that your children will begin to walk in your blessings, almighty God. In the mighty name of Jesus, we command any demon tied to any curse to leave us now in the mighty name of Jesus. Let any curses made against us be changed to blessings in the mighty name of Jesus. When any of the curses, Father Lord, over our finances, our health, over our Father Lord, our ability to go forward in life, curses against our destinies, curses against our family, our children. Father Lord, all these demonic and satanic curses, Father Lord, I'm asking you today that they will turn into blessings, Lord God. That, Father Lord, they will turn into all your blessings that you've already spoken over our lives, Lord God, in the mighty name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus. We command all of these demonic and satanic curses of poverty, limitation, stagnation, lack of achievement, reproach, all these curses of infirmity, all these curses of, 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 of lack of ability to go forward and stagnation. Father Lord, we command all of them to be broken in the mighty name of Jesus. Every mental and physical illness curse be broken 
broken in the mighty name of Jesus. Every curse of defeat and failure be broken in the mighty name of Jesus. Be broken in the mighty name of Jesus. We break every curse of our family tree in the mighty name of Jesus. Every witchcraft arrow aimed against our futures. What are you waiting for? Backfire and die in the mighty name of Jesus. We bury the power of every witch who is coming after us to destroy us in the mighty name of Jesus. We break every curse of poverty of our lives in the mighty name of Jesus. Defeat, we defeat you today in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, let every visible power that is interfering with our dreams perish in the mighty name of Jesus. Hear the word of the Lord. My foes, my worries are ended in the mighty name of Jesus. Now it is your turn, therefore carry your load and back to the pits of hell in the mighty name of Jesus in the mighty name of Jesus we break the legs of every curse with lengthy legs in the mighty name of Jesus we declare extraordinary success in the mighty name of Jesus we shatter every curses with the blood of Jesus and by the fire of God in the mighty name of Jesus divine abundance begin to locate us and overtake us today in the mighty name of Jesus spirit of promotion come upon us afresh upon our destinies as well in the mighty name of Jesus every authority that is keeping a curse on our lives what are you waiting for die in the mighty name of Jesus in the mighty name of Jesus let every curse of failure perish every curse of failure I command you to perish in the mighty name of Jesus you will not continue to perpetuate cycles of defeat and failure over the children of God in the mighty name of Jesus we command all strangers in our lives to flee by the fire of the Holy Ghost in the mighty name of Jesus drawers of spiritual salt unleash salt of my life in the mighty name of Jesus in the mighty name of Jesus in the mighty name of Jesus in the name of Jesus we destroy the demonic bond passed down through parents or ancestors in the mighty name of Jesus in the mighty name of Jesus in the mighty name of Jesus we choose blessings and renounce the curses we choose the blessings and we renounce all the curses not only upon our lives but upon the lives of our children in the mighty name of Jesus we choose life above death in the mighty name of Jesus we choose life life above death in the mighty name of Jesus father Lord release each one of your children here from every satanic and demonic curse that is speaking against uh, their lives speaking against their destiny speaking against the advancement speaking against their ability to serve you ability to pray read the word and understand the word in the mighty name of Jesus, Father Lord, let fire rain and destroy every work of the enemy. In the mighty name of Jesus, every work of the enemy that is working in your children's lives, making them ill, making them, Father Lord, to be spending money in hospitals, in chemists, and no solution to their illness. Father Lord, break that curse over their health in the mighty name of Jesus. Break that curse over their health in the mighty name of Jesus. Every demonic and satanic curse that does not allow your children to sustain a proper job six months they are in one job another six months they are in another job hopping from job to job I curse that curse in the mighty name of Jesus I command that curse to be broken in the mighty name of Jesus zero contract hours be broken and dead in the mighty name of Jesus every curse over their marriages that their marriages are always suffering financial constraints there is loads of arguments. There is loads of disagreements for no reason. They, they get up in the morning and they are arguing. They go to bed at night and they are arguing. Not able to enjoy their marriage. Father Lord, break that curse over their marriage in the mighty name of Jesus. Break, break, break and destroy it forever in the mighty name of Jesus. Every curse that was spoken against the womb of the ladies who cannot conceive. Every curse spoken against their wombs. They go from doctor to doctor and they miscarriage that curse is broken in the mighty name of Jesus that curse is broken in the mighty name of Jesus that curse is broken forever in the mighty name of Jesus every curse of desolation every curse that where people cannot see a way out of this situation every curse that they are always in desperation desperate to get money for fuel for their car desperate to get money to feed their children desperate for a place to live father Lord break that demonic curse in the mighty name of Jesus break it break it break it break it break it in the mighty name of Jesus every demonic veil 
over their heads, over their face, that people cannot see them as who you have created them with gifts and potentials. Father Lord, tear the veil and break the curse that is over them. In the mighty name of Jesus, break the curse in the mighty name of Jesus. Break the curse in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh Lord, arise today in the mighty name of Jesus and begin to destroy every bondage, every yoke of the enemy manifested into a curse of poverty. They never have enough. They never have enough. They are constantly borrowing credit cards, borrowing from family. They cannot account for their salary. Father Lord, break that curse over their finances in the mighty name of Jesus. Every curse of borrowing is broken in the mighty name of Jesus. Every curse of poverty is broken in the mighty name of Jesus. You demonic curse that keeps sponsoring accidents in the lives of the children of God. Accident at work. Accident on the motorway. Accident on the freeway. Everything is accident. Father Lord, break that curse in the mighty name of Jesus. Break it, break it, break it. Break that curse in the mighty name of Jesus. That demonic curse speaking against your children that they will not get married. That demonic curse speaking against your children that they will never be happy in marriage. Father Lord, break the curse. Father Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Let every curse be broken in the mighty name of Jesus. They will break through from henceforth and get married, married and be happy in married in the mighty name of Jesus. Every demonic and satanic curse of infirmity. Every time they have some money they collect their salary they are sick or someone else gets sick father lord break that demonic curse in the mighty name of jesus break it break it break it break it break it in the mighty name of jesus every curse of loneliness that then they, they doesn't matter what they do to meet somebody to go out there and meet somebody they cannot meet somebody they like it's like they are invisible father lord break that curse of loneliness in the mighty name of jesus break that curse that is not allowing them to meet their destiny partner in the mighty name of jesus every Every demonic curse of torment through nightmares. Father Lord, that when they go to bed is pure nightmares. They have no peace. Father Lord, break the curse in the mighty name of Jesus. Break, 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 break in the mighty name of Jesus. Father Lord, every satanic and demonic curse that is say no to their education they go to school but they cannot graduate they go to college they cannot graduate everything is conspiring from them never to graduate father lord break that curse over their education in the mighty name of jesus break 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 in the mighty name of jesus that satanic and demonic curse that is saying no you will never own a house no you will never have your own place you will always be from place to place asking people for a place to live squattering Father Lord, break that curse that is saying no for them to have their own house. Break that curse in the mighty name of Jesus. Break that curse in the mighty name of Jesus. Every curse that is constant, constantly sponsoring all manner of problems in the, your children's lives. Today is their health. Tomorrow is their finances. After tomorrow is the, 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 the utilities that they cannot pay or the, 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 the appliances that are not working. Father Lord, every curse sponsoring problems. Break that curse in the mighty name of Jesus. Break that curse in the mighty name of Jesus. Break that curse in the mighty name of Jesus. Father Lord, every diabolic and satanic curse of mental illness. It doesn't matter how much money they make or how much progress they make. They can never be happy. They are constantly sad. They want to kill themselves. They are self-harming. They are depressed and taking medication. Father Lord, break the curse of mental illness in the mighty name of Jesus. Break the curse of suicidal thoughts in the mighty name of Jesus. Break the curse of sadness and sorrow in the mighty name of Jesus. Father Lord, that demonic and satanic curse that the more they earn the more they spend they are constantly spending 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 even what they don't have they spend it father lord break that curse in the mighty name of jesus break that curse of overspending in the mighty name of jesus break it break it break it break it in the mighty name of jesus they shall be able to save money in the mighty name of jesus every satanic and demonic force that is always saying no to their promotion no to the next level it doesn't matter how hard working they are how much they contribute to that workplace or in their business they are stagnant they are constantly paralyzed in their development father lord break that curse of stagnancy in the mighty name of jesus break that curse of mediocrity in the mighty name of jesus 
break it, break it, break it, break it in the mighty name of Jesus. Father Lord, I'm asking you today, every curse of vagabond that makes their children hover around the streets, no destiny, nothing, no education, nothing. Father Lord, break the curse of vagabond in the mighty name of Jesus. Break it, break it, break it off their head. Break it off their children's heads in the mighty name of Jesus. Father Lord, I'm asking you right now, every witch, every wizard, every warlock that is constantly cursing the, your children, telling them that they will not go forward, cursing them to be ill, cursing them to never advance in life, cursing them for never to be settled in marriage. Father Lord, wherever these witches are cursing your children, locate their covens. Holy Ghost, fire, destroy them. Holy Ghost, fire, destroy them and break the curse. Holy Ghost, fire, destroy them and break the curse. Holy Ghost, fire, destroy them and break the curse. Father Lord, as they repent of their sins, as they confess the things that they have done, Father Lord, in the past, in which Father Lord has allowed the curse, Father Lord, to bear fruit, as they repent, Lord God, break every demonic and satanic curse, speaking against the stars, speaking against the glory speaking against the advancement, speaking against their ability to pray, to read your word, and to do the things that you have called them to do. Father Lord, break, 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 break forever. In the mighty name of Jesus, every hidden curse that is hiding for them not to confess it. Father Lord, and they can't remember. Father Lord, let the Holy Spirit bring to remember remembrance every hidden curse, Lord God, so that by confession of that sin, they will be set free in the mighty name of Jesus, and the curse will be broken forever. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father Lord, arise from heaven today and begin to break every satanic and demonic yoke upon their lives, Father Lord, that is making them walking the land of the living as curse, that is making them walk the land of the living as people that have no destiny and have no God. Break it, Lord God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Release your children in the mighty name of Jesus. Every demonic and satanic altar that was erected to curse your children day and night, Father Lord, locate that demonic altar smash it onto irreparable pieces and as you smash that demonic altar release your children's destinies from those altars in the mighty name of Jesus break the curses in the mighty name of Jesus destroy the satanic and demonic agreements in the mighty name of Jesus and bring them back into alignment with your will bring them back into alignment with your purpose for them almighty God begin to open doors for your children almighty God begin to give them father Lord our oh, father Lord the, the power the anointing that breaks the yoke of the enemy in the mighty name of Jesus father Lord every demonic and satanic curse of confusion they cannot decide where to ask for a job and then when they get a job they cannot decide what to do as a career father lord every demonic and satanic curse that leaves them confused and without a, a, a purpose in life break that demonic curse in the mighty name of jesus break it break it break it break it in the mighty name of jesus every demonic and satanic curse that makes men to be womanizers and women to be father lord disrespectful to themselves and to their body and disloyal Father Lord, break that curse in the mighty name of Jesus. Break that curse in the mighty name of Jesus. Break it, break it, break it in the mighty name of Jesus. Break it in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, Father Lord, I'm asking you today, as you release your children from every demonic and satanic curse, Father Lord, I'm asking you for the blessing to begin to rest upon their lives, for the, your blessings to begin to rest upon their destinies, that from henceforth, Lord God, everything in their lives that has been refusing to cooperate with your will and your purpose for them, be destroyed forever in the mighty name of Jesus. Be destroyed forever in the mighty name of Jesus. Never to happen again in their lives in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord Jesus, I cover each one of your servants here with your precious blood. I cover your children with your precious blood. Oh, Father Lord, I'm asking you resurrect their destinies. Resurrect, Father Lord, their purpose. In the mighty name of Jesus, resurrect, Father Lord, their talents that have been buried by the curse. Father Lord, let their gifts begin to make room for them. Oh, Father Lord, I pray for them, Lord God, that their destiny help us from henceforth. will begin to locate them, oh Lord God. We'll begin, Father Lord, to transcend them, Father Lord, to catapult them to another level that they need to be in, in order to be able to fulfill purpose. Father Lord, as they come out from the curse to the blessing, Father Lord, I'm asking you to begin to show them the hidden treasures of this world and give them, Father Lord, the authority. 
to take possession of the hidden treasures of this world. Father Lord, transfer the wealth of the wicked unto your children. Father Lord, I speak over their lives. The Lord, the blessing, Father Lord, who shall speak for them, shall announce them, shall announce their presence wherever they go, Lord God, that people will look at them, Lord God, and Father Lord, they will have no choice but to bless them. They will not have no choice but to Father Lord to begin to treat them, Father Lord, as the children of the Most High God, and bless them with whatever they have to bless them almighty god father lord i'm asking you today bring repentance into the hearts of us your children because it's by non-confession of our sins that the enemy will continue to perpetuate sin perpetuate curses almighty god i pray that that from henceforth lord god yokes are completely destroyed forever in the mighty name of jesus and that curses are destroyed forever in the mighty name of jesus father lord everything that they have promised to somebody and they did not honor their word and because of that has brought about a curse destroy it in the mighty name of jesus destroy that curse in the mighty name of jesus destroy that curse in the mighty name of jesus father lord i pray that today lord god you will bring many souls to your kingdom father lord you repair whatever damage the devil has done father lord in many years because of our ignorance because of our inability to go to your word lord god and seek repentance and seek father lord your presence and sincerely father lord repent father lord i pray that yesterday their lives will never be the same again lord god they will not struggle in the land of the living they shall always father lord inherit what you have told them father lord that it is their portion in the land of the living almighty god father lord i thank you today lord god for making deliverance available to us salvation available to us through the blood of your son jesus that was shed on the cross of calvary for the remission of our sins thank you jesus for your presence thank you jesus for your holy ghost thank you jesus for speaking to us today for for liberating us and giving us peace that surpasses all understanding lord god in jesus mighty name whomsoever has our names in their covens lord god or in their altars to curse us day and night father lord i speak total destruction to their altars i speak death to their curses i command them to return to sender and locate their owners in the mighty name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, glory be to God, in the mighty name of Jesus, glory be to God, glory be to God, thank you Jesus, glory be to God. There is a person here on this live stream, the reason why you cannot go forward in life, in anything that you do, it's like everybody's working, everybody's doing things, everybody's progressing, but you are stuck 15, 20 years ago. It's because you made a covenant with your boyfriend when you were in secondary school. That you will never depart from one another. That you will never part ways. And both of you grew. You left that school and you parted ways. And when you parted ways, you did not understand that you had a covenant with that person. God shows me that you prickled some of your, your finger and he did it and you swapped. And you did a blood covenant with your boyfriend. And that is the reason why you cannot progress in life. And that same gentleman, wherever he is, he cannot go forward in marriage, in nothing, nothing. You are, you are, even marriage for you has not happened. And it's gone so many years. But God is a merciful God and he wants you to break that covenant. That's you. Glory be to God. Father Lord, as this beloved has now repented, Lord. Father Lord, go back in time to where they made this blood oath. With their boyfriend and girlfriend, they did a blood oath, Lord God. Father Lord, I'm asking you that you will break this blood oath. As she enters into a new covenant with you, Lord Jesus, she is now been washed by your precious blood. Therefore, she is in a new covenant. So every covenant that she had before is broken forever in the mighty name of Jesus. And as she breaks this covenant, Lord God, break the curse that came about. Because both disobeyed to the covenant and did not follow suit, Lord God. Father, Lord, destroy this demonic and satanic yoke with your power in the mighty name of Jesus. And release your daughter, Lord God. And release the other gentleman to him. She had a blood covenant, Lord God. In Jesus' mighty name, amen, amen, and amen. There is another person here. The reason why your financial life is a curse. You don't have money enough to feed, to raise school fees, to pay for your children's school fees. You cannot do anything. You are always 
from one problem financially to another problem is that the first job that you had when you left school you stole from the lady who actually trusted in you and employed you you took some money from the till you it was a gross god shows me like a grocery shop what we call a canteen it's like in a bit of a rural setting and you are on this live stream and god wants to set you free but you have to confess that you stole from that lady who gave you your first job you stole some money from the till she never noticed that the money was stolen she never noticed that the money was gone. She never challenged you about it. But that sin that you have committed has given the Satan legal right to destroy your financial life. Everywhere you go, you repent, beloved. As you repent, God will destroy the curse that is ruining your financial life, that is destroying your financial life in the mighty name of Jesus. The Lord God of Israel will destroy that curse in the mighty name of Jesus. As you confess, you are released from the bondage of poverty because of that curse, because of that sin you have committed in the mighty name of Jesus. Glory be to God. There is a lady here. You were invited by a friend to go to a Hindu temple to offer some sacrifices. And you were told that by doing those rituals, you will have money but you have no money and you are living like a pauper people have to feed you have mercy upon you to feed you to even give you money for food and the curse has come to your life because you decided to follow a friend that lied to you that look if we go to the hindu temple and we do offerings to those gods we will be rich like them we will have money you need to repent you enter into an agreement with gods that even your forefathers did not serve because you wanted money. Just confess your sin by writing capital me. Say it's me, Lord Jesus. I listened to a friend and I went to this you. Repent, beloved. You enter into an agreement with these demonic forces, with these deities and gods. And that is why you have attracted a curse over your life. Father Lord, I'm asking you as this beloved repents of the covenant they have made with these Hindu gods, thinking that they were going to be rich. As they repent before you, Lord God, and break the agreement, Father Lord, release them from whatever curse is speaking against them. Release them, Almighty God, with your power. You have all power. You brought them here, Lord God, and it is not by coincidence. You wanted to speak directly to them. Release them from that curse, Almighty God destroy that curse lord god forever in the mighty name of jesus and father lord i'm asking you that you will repair them restore them to their original design in which you have created them lord god so that the gifts will begin to make room for them lord god in jesus mighty name amen amen and amen glory be to god there is a person here you went and did a pact with a witch doctor and the witch doctor gave you uh, some things to feed a serpent. And you went there because you wanted to make money. You wanted your business to go forward. And you went to this witch doctor. You were given things to feed that serpent. And for a couple of two to three years, your business was, was, was thriving. But now everything has come to a total poverty stagnation. You are selling everything, cars, everything. To make ends meet i'll tell you why you made a covenant with the serpentine spirit but now it's time to give blood to that serpent and that is why things are not working for you you are being visited by this demon this serpentine spirit at night you have horrible dreams with this serpent repent write capital me and as you write capital me and repent to god for establishing a covenant with the serpentine spirit that you will be released from this curse god will break the curse in the mighty name of jesus and you will be set free from the curse but you have to write capital me and repent to god this is not something that someone else can do it for you you need to do it yourself you need to repent just repent write capital me on the live stream and be set free from that curse confess to jesus say jesus i have done glory be to god 
Beloved, as you confess your sin, Jesus is faithful to forgive you. Jesus is faithful to set you free from the covenant that you did with that serpentine spirit. And he has power to release you as you confess your sin. Father Lord, I'm asking those who have confessed, Lord God, bind, Father Lord, the, the whatever demon is tormenting them, Lord God. Set them free, Jehovah, in the mighty name of Jesus. Set them free, Jehovah, in the mighty name of Jesus. Break the curse, Lord God. Let them understand there is nothing good that comes from the kingdom of darkness. The kingdom of darkness has only death to offer, has nothing to offer to no one. You Only you offer life and life everlasting, Lord God. Set them free, Jehovah, in the mighty name of Jesus. Set them free, Jehovah, in the mighty name of Jesus. There is a person on this live stream. You have a, um, a covenant with a certain altar to be rich, to have money. You have money, you are well off, but you are tired because that pact that you have, you have to draw some of your menstrual blood every month when you are in your cycle, mix it with some herbs and drink it. And you are tired of doing this because it's been for so long and you want God to set you free. You said, God, even if I have to lose the things that I have, I don't want to continue to do this diabolical act again anymore. I want to be set free. The Lord has heard you. All you need to do is write capital me. Don't be ashamed. God has come to set mankind free. He did not come for those who are good, those who have no sin. All of us, we came from somewhere. But as you confess that sin to Jesus by writing capital me, not only God will break that pact. Oh, glory be to God. As you identify, beloveds, the Lord God of Israel is having mercy upon your soul. And as you confess your sin and you, don't, you are not ashamed of confessing what you did. Father Lord, I'm asking you that you will break that demonic covenant, Father Lord, that they have made to make money. That Father Lord, as they break the covenant, Lord God, you will set them free, Jehovah, from the altar that they are serving for money, Lord God. And bring them back to your kingdom to live, Father Lord, under the power of the blood of the Son, Jesus. Oh, glory be to God. Restore them, Lord God. Show them that they don't need to do wicked things to make money. That you still sustain your children. That you still look after those, Father Lord, who are diligent with you, Lord God, who are sticking with you no matter what, Lord God. Father, Lord, as they confess their sins, release them. Break the curses forever. In the mighty name of Jesus, break the curses forever. In the mighty name of Jesus, break the curses forever. In the mighty name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, there is a person here on this live stream. You are the head of the recruitment department in your company. And you have been taking people's CVs and archiving them to give that job to people that you know. Fam family, even uh, relatives and friends. You are in that um, position, but you are not being faithful to your company or recruiting talent. You are using the vacancies in that company to employ your own family. And God is tired of you. God is saying, if you don't repent today, you will expose your illegal activities in that company. They will find you out and they will sack you from that company and you will have to pay compensation to that company. God is just giving you a warning of what will happen to you if you do not repent. God is showing me you hiding CVs. You're hiding them. And then pretending you did not receive it and then go call your family members and people that you know they're looking for a job to offer them that job. God is saying, repent. Repent from the sin of nepotism. Somebody has just reminded me of the name. You work as the head of the recruitment in your department and you are using your position of authority to use the jobs that are available in that company to employ your own family members. You are not employing talent. 
people who were recruiting talent you were using to give it to your own family to work in that in those positions god is saying that if you do not identify yourself by writing capital me you are gonna not only lose your job your position you will be exposed in that company you will and you will always also be given a fine yes they will sue you that's it that is that is what i hear from god repent right capital me i'm not here to judge you it might as well you repent just repent of your sin repent you don't want to be exposed and and go through humiliate public humiliation because of pride you don't want to identify yourself just identify right capital me people that have worse sins they have identified by writing capital me and they're now set free and they're now under the blessings of god those of you repenting of your sins good as you repent god is visiting you with the blessing and breaking the curse do it very quickly beloved don't waste my time my time is too precious but the the time god's time is is more precious than my time because i'm a human being identify yourself glory be to god the person has identified beloved god bless you for identifying you're saving your soul father lord those who have identified that the lady that has identified father lord i'm asking you today that you will be merciful that you will forgive her her sins lord god father lord break the curse that is hovering her lord god because of what she did break the curse release her lord god and protect her let her be hiding under your wings from henceforth as she has repented lord god in jesus mighty name we thank you lord jesus for thy faithfulness we thank you lord jesus for thy kindness lord god one another person identified lord lord god there is no sin that is too big for you there is no sin that is too small for you lord god you are faithful and powerful and just to deliver you are faithful and powerful and just lord god to deliver people to break curses and evil covenants almighty god in jesus mighty name there is a person here your family hides a big secret yes the altar of your family from your mother's house when you were young you were convinced by your mother and your grandfather to commit incest with your grandfather so to power the altar of wealth and you accepted to enter into this covenant you were about 13 to 14 when you had to you know you had to be intimate with your grandfather and you were told by your mother that if you do this you will always be rich you will never have any money worries in life and you you accepted as a child because you were manipulated you were a child you were manipulated by your mother and you were manipulated by your grandfather but now you cannot sleep at night you have horrible dreams day and night horrible dreams with your grandfather that is passed away and you want deliverance and you want God to set you free. Confess your sin by writing capital me of what happened in your mother's side of the family, that altar that your mother serves, what you had to done as to do as a child to have wealth, to be prosperous. Just write capital me. That is all you need to do. People are confessing their sins. If you want to remain in bondage and under a curse, that is up to you. You cannot say that God was not merciful and God did not visit you. All you need to do is to write capital me. Once you write capital me, instantly you will be delivered. Instantly you will be set free. And God will give you peace at night. You will begin to be able to sleep. And you will begin to experience the peace of God. Glory be to God. Somebody just identified. Father Lord, I'm asking you today. As this child of yours is repenting of a sin she committed when she was a child, she was manipulated for evil. Lord God, I'm asking you, forgive her in the mighty name of Jesus. And break the curse, Father Lord, and the agreement that she entered with the kingdom of darkness. Release your daughter, Father Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Release her, Father Lord, 
In the mighty name of Jesus, Father Lord, I'm asking you today, continue to be merciful. Father Lord, continue to forgive. Continue to, Father Lord, restore your children, Father Lord, because they are repenting and they are honest, Lord God. They don't want, Father Lord, to do wickedness, Lord God. They want to continue, Father Lord, to serve you without having to remember the past and be in bondage to the past and suffer because of pacts they had they done in the past, Lord God. Father Lord, I pray for deliverance to take place today, Lord God, for curses to be broken, Lord God, for people to be restored onto the original design in which you have created them, Lord God. I pray, Lord God, sustain your children, Father Lord. Father Lord, begin to break yokes, Lord God. Begin to reveal all things, Lord God, so that your children will repent, Lord God, so that your children will go back to you, Lord God, and forsake the kingdom of darkness and forsake Father Lord, the kingdom of Father Lord of darkness, Lord God, in Jesus' mighty name. There is somebody here, you are a high ranking in your sorority. God is saying that I'm calling you out from among them. Repent of that sin. I renounce your sorority. Come to me. Come to me because I have eternal life for you. If you continue in that sorority, you will die and go to hell. Yes, you have a good life. You have connections. You have all these things, but what about your afterlife, says the Lord? How are you going to manage the afterlife? You know the word because your parents taught you to worship God. You come from a Christian home, but you are in this sorority because they are offering you a lifestyle of, of opulence. They are connecting you to the right people. But God is saying, until when will you continue in that situation? Just write capital me, confess Jesus as your Lord and Savior. Come out of that sorority, renounce the, the vows that you made with the sorority. In the mighty name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, repent, sister. Repent of that demonic affiliation. God is calling you onto his righteous kingdom, you in the sorority. You are here on this live stream. God is calling you home. He is saying, my daughter, come home. It's time for you to come home. Oh, it's time for you to come home, daughter of Zion. Until when will I wrestle with your soul? Until when will I plead with your soul to come back to my righteous kingdom? I will not ask you again. I will not wrestle with your soul again. This is your final opportunity to renounce that evil affiliation with that sorority and return Come back home like the prodigal son in the mighty name of Jesus. You that need to um, repent, repent. Don't, don't deny God what he is speaking over your life. Don't harden your heart. Come to Jesus. This is the hour of your salvation. You think you have tomorrow. Tomorrow you could be in your casket. Yes, glory be to God, you that renounced your sorority three years ago. It shall forever be well with you because you have chosen Jesus. But there is a person here that you have not renounced your sorority. You are enjoying the lifestyle. You are enjoying everything, their connections, parties, events. But God is saying, until when? You could be in your casket tomorrow. You think that tomorrow you will be alive. You'll be alive to enjoy all these things. Listen. You might not be alive, beloved. Life belongs to Jesus. He's given you. He can take it anytime. Glory be to God, beloved sister. You are there are repenting. Father Lord, thank you, Father Lord, for the sister who has just confessed, Lord God. As she, Father Lord, renounces this evil sorority, Lord God, I pray that she will come back to you, Lord God. That she will accept you as Lord and Savior, Lord God. That she will come into your presence to repent, renounce this sorority, Lord God. And reconcile with you while there is time for reconciliation, Lord God. We assume that we have tomorrow, but we might not have tomorrow. Tomorrow is not promised to us. We only have now. We only have now, Lord. So, Father Lord, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father Lord. You, the lady that is in sorority, repent. Somebody says it's not them. All you need to do is write capital me. Repent for your sorority life. Come out from among them. God is calling you home. 
Oh, yes, God is calling you home. This is your opportunity to make things right with God. Oh, yes, glory be to God. She has identified. Father, Lord, I've prayed for them, Lord God. Take over their lives, Lord God. As they repent, Father, Lord, let them renounce the sorority. Let them come out of these secret societies, Lord God, and make a firm, commi firm commitment with you, Lord God. Sustain them, Lord God. Give them your peace that surpasses all understanding. Father, Lord, give them a great level of understanding, Father, Lord, of your word, so that they will no longer walk, Father, Lord, in blindness, not knowing the, 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 the scriptures, Lord God, not knowing you, Lord God, and being led astray by the enemy, Lord God. Father, Lord, release them, Father, Lord, from the hands of the wicked one. Release them, Father, Lord, from the hands of the wicked one. Deliver them, Lord Jesus. Father, Lord, as your children are here, destroy every diabolic and satanic curse still hovering over their the, the heads, Lord God, because of something they did in the past, Lord God. There is somebody here, God is telling you to stop the ancestral worship that you do. You go with your family, December is the month you go. You go to your mother's village, and there you'll be worshiping ancestors, slaughtering chickens, goats, and whatnots. God is saying that I am calling you to be born again. I am calling you to sever links with the ancestors and these demonic spirits and your mother's village. And you need to repent because death is hovering around your destiny. Oh yes, those demons that you worship every December saying that is your ancestors. They will request, they are requesting your blood. They are requesting for your heads. And guess what? Those family members that you go with them, they don't want their children to die. So you will be in, on the list. They will give your name. Because there is no honor in the kingdom of darkness. No one wants to offer their own. They will always offer someone else. Someone else. Repent. Glory be to God. As you repent, don't go back to that evil practice. Tell your mother, I'm a born again Christian now. I cannot continue to live my life worshiping demons. I don't want anything to do with these altars. I am breaking covenant with them. And as you break your covenant with them, you are being restored. Oh, Father Lord, thank you, Jesus. Somebody received their passport. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. Father Lord, thank you for signs and wonders. Thank you for miracles, Lord God. Thank you for what you are doing and about to do, Lord God. In Jesus' mighty name. Glory be to God. There is somebody here. Um, this is a blessing that God is releasing to you. You are living with a friend, all right? And the, your friend owes, owns um, an apartment. It's a two-bedroom apartment. The Holy Spirit is touching your friend to give you that apartment because she's well off financially. She has money to go and buy another one and she wants to go and buy another one. The Holy Spirit is touching you, her to give you that apartment, receive it in the mighty name of Jesus. You that live with your friend that owns an apartment, you are living with her. You pay a, a little something to contribute with the bills, but she is your friend. God is saying that she's going to give you the keys to that apartment. She's, I can see her transferring the deed of ownership of that apartment to you. She has money. She's thinking of buying somewhere bigger and she's going to give you that apartment. Identify yourself right in capital me, you that are living with a friend that owns the apartment. And your contribution, it just you help her pay the bills. And you've been living with her. She the Holy Spirit is touching her heart to give you the keys to that apartment. But you have to identify yourself. Write capital me. By writing capital me, you are receiving. Just write capital me and receive. And when you receive the keys to that apartment and the deed of ownership of that apartment come back and testify so that the saints will be uplifted so that our faith glory be to god somebody has identified receive it beloved sister she's gonna give it to you because the holy spirit is already working in our heart in her heart to give you the keys to that house it's gonna be a miracle a big miracle yeah but please contact sister dalila when you receive everything so can, i can come back here and testify all right, and give God praise report and gave the saints praise report and we can also praise God for what he's done in your life. All right, that is all I'm asking. I'm not asking for anything else. Glory be to God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Saints, I'm about to go. 
But before I go, let me pray for you. Father, Lord, I pray for everyone on this live stream. I don't know what has brought them here today, what afflictions and what it is that they are going through. But Father, Lord, let every curse be broken off their lives today in the mighty name of Jesus. I speak prosperity over their lives, advancement. I speak peace that surpasses all understanding. I speak that wherever they go, they shall be a blessing to everybody. The gifts are beginning to make room for them. I envelope each one of them in your precious blood, Lord Jesus. And I'm asking you, Father Lord, that as they have broken the curse, the stars will begin to shine bright. Father Lord, that destiny helpers will begin to locate them from the four corners of the world to bless them and to catapult them to the next level in which they need to be. Father Lord, whatever they have lost as a result of living under a curse, Father Lord, restore them a million folds, Lord God, that it will be as if there was never a curse and there was never a struggle in their lives in jesus mighty name amen amen and amen i want to ask is there anyone here who wants to accept jesus as lord and savior write capital me and as you write capital me you are receiving jesus as your lord and savior you are making a commitment with jesus i'm urging you to buy a king james bible Begin to read the word of God. Begin to come in agreement with the word of God. You cannot serve a God that you don't know. The word of God will teach you who God is, how you should follow him. And also we will strengthen you so that you will continue to walk in the narrow path that leads to salvation and eternal life. Secondly, saints, you can go to my bio and subscribe to my YouTube page so that you can see previous ministrations that can be of help to your Christian walk, to your spiritual maturity, to help you grow in Christ. Number three, if you have been urged by the Holy Spirit to give to this ministry, my PayPal account is also on my bio. You are free to give on that, on that PayPal um, account to support me so that I can continue to keep going. Saints, from tomorrow, I am going to bring a list yeah of your names to pray at the end of the ministration for specific blessings for those who are constantly supporting this ministry keeping me going obviously i pray for everybody but i've been led to at the end just mention your names one by one and speak a blessing if you are one of the people that are always supporting this ministry, because some of you are givers on the platform, but you don't do on PayPal, send me a message with your name. I want your name so that I can write down, all right? And I will speak a blessing over your life, live on the live stream. I already pray over this list by myself, but I want to bring it here because there is something in prayer of agreement and there's something that happens when you hear your name and somebody is praying for you something shifts all right so saints if it's it's not going to be a lot of trouble because look you guys are supporting me every day it is just that i invest in praying for you all right that is i've been commissioned to pray but i want to specifically pray for those of you that are avid supporters all right saints go in peace may the good lord shine his face upon you and be merciful to you may he begin to open doors for you may he begin to provide a way of escape for you as you go about your day i speak over your lives that you shall never want in life oh yes people will come to aid you the wealth of the wicked will be always transferred to you you are tapping onto divine resources today and I speak over your lives that as you have a need, our God, our Father in heaven will respond to your need by supplying all your needs in his riches and glory in Jesus' mighty name. Go in peace, saints. Shalom. God willing, I shall see you tomorrow.